I've received a lot of comments recently about my skin looking better than usual, a little more glowy, a little more even toned, and a lot of questions about what I'm doing differently. If you follow me on Twitter or Facebook or Instagram, then you've heard mention of me trying out some new products. And so now that I've given everything a few weeks, about six weeks to gel and see how I like things, I am excited to talk to you about the products that I am using on my skin. Almost every single product is new. I've been phasing them in a little bit at a time for the most part, and I am excited to share them with you. I um, want to just do a little housekeeping, and instead of taking up time in the video, everything's listed in the description box below, and if there are discount codes or um, some kind of deal on them, I'll list that in there as well. And I will, of course, as always mention if a product was sent to me for review or if I bought it on my own. So let's start with the evening stuff because that's a little more complicated than the morning routine. So I use a um, totally new product to me. This started with, um, I wanted to try one of those cleansing balm things. And I got a sample of the Eve Lom cleanser and I used it and I really liked the concept but my skin did not like it. It immediately broke out into cystic acne pretty much all over. I couldn't figure out what it was, looked up the ingredient list, and sure enough, mineral oil, huge, right at the top of the list. My skin does not like mineral oil. I'm not gonna preach at you and tell you not to use products that have mineral oil in it, but I can tell you that my skin does not appreciate it. But I was kind of, I mean, frankly, just bummed out because I wanted to try that cleansing balm experience. And I talked to my friend Lisa, you know her as Lisa SZ09 here on YouTube and asked her what she was using and she recommended some products and I followed up on her advice and now I'm gonna share it with you. So, I like the cleansing balm, didn't like the mineral oil. Lisa suggested that I pick up the Colleen Rothschild Radiant Cleansing Balm, which I did. And um, she has been talked about a lot on YouTube. I was actually contacted by her company way back when she was first getting started to try some products. I was a little leery about jumping in on the bandwagon, didn't know very much about the company at the time, there wasn't a lot of information out there, so I just I politely refused and held back and kind of wanted to see what other people thought of it before I tried it. So far everyone loves it and you can add me to the list as well. So I did purchase this myself, like I said, it's the Colleen Rothschild Radiant Cleansing Balm, it comes in this lovely glass container and I've used quite a good amount. I need to ease up. I was a little too eager to slap this on. You don't need that much. I scooped just a, I'd say like about just a, oh, bad finger choice, about the first joint of my finger, just a thin layer. Rub it between my fingers like this and just start rubbing it all over my face, my eyes, my lips. I don't do any pre-cleanse, I just, no makeup remover wipes, I just massage it all into my face. The massaging, I think, has really helped my skin as well. It's a nice, kind of luxurious way to end the day, and it smells very faint. I mean, if odor is your thing, this won't bother you, but it's very clean and fresh and kind of, I don't know, sort of spa-like is the best way I can describe it. What I really like about Colleen Rothschild products is all the ingredients are listed on her website. You know exactly what you're getting. They're not inexpensive, but the ingredients are very high quality, so you're getting what you pay for here. So anyway, I rub that all in on my eyes, everything, and then I take one of the muslin cloths that came with it and put it into pretty hot water, not scalding. This is going on my face, and then um, I take the muslin, the wet muslin cloth, and I. I'm just gonna show you what I do. I just <laughs> push it all over my face like this. Hello. And I just hold it on my face. Not very long, maybe 30 seconds. If I'm in a hurry, five seconds. It just sort of soaks it all in, heats it all up, and then I just start wiping it all off. And it takes off everything. And your skin feels fresh and clean, but not tight. I do have dry skin, but I've heard this works great for oily skin as well. So I do that, and then the only thing else that I've been doing in the evening is first I use the Complete Eye Cream. She did send me this. When she heard that I ordered the Radiant Cleansing Balm, she threw in a couple extra goodies. So this is the Complete Eye Cream. You know I'm not a huge fan of eye creams. However, um, I really like, this one has no scent. I have noticed a difference. Um, my skin around my eyes, I put it all in here morning and night. My skin just looks brighter. My concealer is lasting longer. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what magic ingredients are in here, but 
I use the eye cream in the evening. And then the last thing I do at night is I use the face oil number nine. And this again was sent to me. I do, this is a nice glass jar. I do one pump. I get it in between, I put it on one finger, rub them together, and then kind of press it in all over, even on top of the eye cream and a little bit down my neck. And it's, it's an oil, but it's not like, it's not like you're putting olive oil on your face. It's not even as heavy as coconut oil. It's a very thin oil. It absorbs right into the face. And I wake up in the morning and my skin just feels smooth. There's no grease on it, but it just feels smooth and even. I don't want to use the word glowing, and yet it is. I don't know what's in this. I mean, I could find out by going online. But whatever magical ingredients are in here, my my skin tone is improving. I'm not breaking out at all. The leftover acne red marks I have from old acne is almost completely faded. It's a miracle. So that's the nighttime stuff. Now into morning. So um, for those of you that don't know, I am part of a network here on YouTube called Style Hall, and they are trying something new. They have sort of like a curated collection that they're going to be doing monthly along with beauty.com and the products that they select, I think all of the products, I'm not entirely sure, but the products that they select for each month will also be 20% off the regular prices. And because I'm a member of Style Hall, they sent me a big box of sample items and some of the full-size items to try out um, from the collection that they are curating for May. And um, you may have seen me mention like the lip scrubby thing from Bliss, but the product that really stood out that I really, really love and would have talked about regardless um, whether they'd send it to me or not, I have been eyeing this for a long time to buy for my kids. I didn't really think about using it for me, but I'm glad that they sent it to me. This is the Body Shop Tea Tree Skin Clearing Facial Wash. And this, whatever Colleen Rothschild products haven't already done for my skin, this has finished the job. I always break out. I have at least one small pimple or cystic acne somewhere on my face at any given moment. Since I started using the Colleen Rothschild products. It was pretty much done every other week. Since I started using this, no breakouts. Knock on wood. So um, this is, it's a suitable for blemished skin. It's an intense daily cleaning that removes impurities for clearing looking skin. I don't feel like this is intense. I don't feel like my skin is dry or stripped, but tea tree oil has antibacterial properties in it. And it's, it's whatever it is, it's working. So in the morning I wake up, I squeeze a little bit of this onto my hands, lather it up in the in some you know lukewarm water, and just go to town. And I avoid the eye area. It says to avoid the eye area because that I think could irritate your eyes. And I just splash it off with you know water. I don't use a washcloth or anything. The scent is very. It smells like eucalyptus oil. I mean, it's it's an intense scent. It's a little medicinal. It wakes you right up, I'll tell you that. So I do that in the morning, and then I follow up with a couple extra products. This um, I've used before, and I will use until it's, it's almost all used up, and this is the Murad Rapid H Spot and Pigment Lightening Serum. So I make a cocktail. I take a squirt of this, and then I take a squirt of this is the Dr. Jessica Wu Vivid Intense 15% Vitamin C Serum. I, bought, I picked this up at Costco. So I do a pump of this and a pump of this in my hand and kind of mix it together and put that all over my face. I let it sink in for about a minute. And then I follow up with the eye cream. And then finally, 90% of the time, I finish the day with the Colleen Rothschild Sheer Renewal Cream. It's in this metal, kind of like a toothpaste tube. And it's pretty straightforward. It's just, you know, you squeeze it out doesn't really have much of a scent to it. I use about a garden pea size amount and that covers my whole face. A little goes a long, long way. And then I just slap on my makeup and go. I would say the only time I don't use this is if I know I'm specifically going to be out in the sun for a long period of time. Like if I'm going to my younger son's football games, he plays spring football, so I'm gonna be outside for a good couple of hours. If that's the case, instead of using this, I will pull out the CeraVe AM moisturizer because it has the SPF 30 on it, or in it. Um, but for just walking around days, I feel like there's enough SPF and all the other stuff I use. I still layer the Pond's BB cream on more days than not. That has SPF 30 in it, my foundation has SPF in it. So, so far, so good. 
I do know that she makes a sunscreen, but I haven't felt the need to go get it. Speaking of products to go get, um, I want to mention a couple of things that I'm, I'm going to be picking up. So I do not have a personal coupon code for the Colleen Rothschild products, but my friend Lisa does. I just watched her video. So I'm going to put the coupon code that she has for 20% off. Um, we can all use it, right? And um, I'll put that here. I'm going to use that code and I'm going to pick up, um, I'm on the fence. Maybe I'll end up buying both. There's a salicylic acid treatment that just to, just to make sure that my face does not break out at all. I think I may use that a few nights out of the week. And the other thing that I definitely want to pick up is she has a, Colleen Rothschild has a vitamin C um, treatment that could take the place of these two products. So since I'm almost out of this, I'm probably going to order the, um, the vitamin C product. I can't remember the exact name. I will link, I will list, I don't know about linking, but I will list all the products that I mentioned, even the ones I don't own below. And then the last thing I want to talk about is um, kind of a strange product, but um, another company contacted me and asked if they could send me some skincare products. And the company is well known and well respected. And I thought, well, sure, I've always been a little curious and um, why not give it a go? And the company's name is Strivectin. Well, what they sent me was this advanced intensive concentrate for wrinkles and stretch marks, which is lovely, except that I really don't have any wrinkles except kind of like here. I don't count these. Nothing's going to make these go away except Botox, which we've already tried. My only wrinkles are really just right around my eyes, but this isn't for your, this isn't for use around your eyes. So I actually called the company and said, thank you so much for sending this to me, but I can't use this. Can I send it back? And they suggested that because it also stimulates collagen, that I should probably think about using it on my hand. So we all know that while we pay all this attention to taking care of our face, we often neglect our hands. I know that I do, even though I've been trying a, a little harder this year. So I gave it a go and I have to say, I don't know, I mean, it's not like I show off my hands all that often. They don't look all that great on camera regardless, but I personally have noticed a difference. My hands aren't quite as veiny looking as they normally are. And I'm hoping with increased use that it'll get even better because while I am not thin everywhere, my hands are thin and kind of veiny and they look my age and I would prefer that they didn't. So I'm kind of excited to give it a go. I never thought about using the products that I use on my face or can use on my face on my hands. So after about a month's use, I have seen a difference. So those are the products that I've been using the last six weeks or so. I'm really really liking the, the results so far. Like I said, there's a um, 20% off code that I am borrowing from our friend Lisa that I will put below. I know there is a 20% off code or um, I will link the site where you can buy this and get it 20% off the regular price. Um, Colleen Rothschild, I believe, is always free shipping, so that's cool. And I will list in the description box everything I've got going on here. So thank you so much for watching and I hope that this was helpful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.